What's up guys, welcome to today's episode of L Dots. In today's episode we'll be reviewing and unboxing affordable backup power for your laptop and router. It's load shedding season again, so you need affordable backup power, especially if you can't afford an entire inverter and backup battery uh, solution. So this is a more affordable, cheaper version. It'll cost you, the whole setup will cost you about 3,000 rand, so it's great. We have this Vizia Mini UPS, which will back up your router, as well as this Lalela power bank for your laptop. So without wasting further time, as you can see, I'm excited. Let's let's get into it, man. Uh, first, what we have is this Vizia Mini uh, UPS. It's a UPS. It's basically you're charging this brick with your own power, and then the brick retains power. When the power goes off, uh, you'll essentially be getting backup power from this, uh, from the actual brick itself for your router. Um, the front of the box just gives you some basic details that I want to expect. Uh, you've got the actual UPS itself, some DC cables, got the adapter, splitter cable, as well as the multiple voltage cables. It'll all make sense later when you get to it. Just give it a bit of time. Uh, like any other box, man, well, whatever's in the front of the box is usually the details around what to expect, how it works, etc. And then I've noticed just boxes, they just start to repeat the same information. It's all saying the same thing in, in different formats. I suppose they have to fill up the space somehow, right? I don't know. Anywho, let's get straight into the unboxing. Let's see what's inside. As mentioned, uh, this entire setup will go for around 1,500 Rand. That's this the DC UPS. And then the other one that we'll review later also goes around for 1,500. So in total, you're looking at spending 3,000 Rand for this entire setup so that you have backup during this work from home situation. I think your router and your laptop are the most important things that you need backup for. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got inside this bad boy. Let's go as per specification on the box. Uh, firstly, as it says there, we've got the mini uh, DC UPS, the brick, as I like to refer to it. We've got the brick, boom. Next is the DC cable. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, the DC cable, uh, that's essentially for actually getting the power from the actual uh, cable. Then what we have is the, the adapters, or so multiple adapters, uh, the DC adapters, in, in case you have a different pin point for the device you want to charge. And then we have the splitter. And finally, the most important for me is the voltage converter. This voltage converter helps uh, the, the setup work on, on multiple devices that, do, that need different voltages, your five volts, your 9 volts or 12 volt out outputs but you'll see how that all uh, comes into play later and they they're all clearly marked you can see colored marked so it'll be quite straightforward let's nothing else in the box there's a little leaflet a how-to but you won't need that how-to when you got l dot you know <laughs> i kill myself sometimes anyhow uh let's get into it uh, I'm gonna use uh, my router for as a demo to show you how this works. Let's make use of my uh, for, for for an example of how it works. Let's make use. Uh, I'll start off with this TP Link uh, TP Link router first. Uh, all you need to do is flip your router around or find any the sticker that shows the, the power up or input that it needs. Specific to this TP Link, you can see it needs a nine volt. Uh, power input so on those converters that you have go find the 9 volt cable simply pop it into your router like so find the other end of the cable and pop that into your UPS like so now you want it on a DC out because you're essentially getting the power from the UPS onto your router, right? So you put it into DC out. And this brick, if this brick, your, your UPS brick already has been charged and has power, at this stage you can already use it, essentially. One thing that you also need now is an adapter uh, to charge the actual UPS itself. Just one thing to note is that 
this whole setup doesn't come with a, an adapter i don't know why let's just go ask vizier <laughs> vizier why did it come with an adapter please let us know so uh dcn i'm popping in the adapter that's going to charge your your, your the ups to make sure that it has power and as soon as you turn it on you can see it's supplying the the router with power you saw the power went on there let's give it some time it will flash soon there we go showing that it's ready to get power has been charged i remember this setup you do once once you set it up like so and you, you've plugged it into the back of your wall you, you're done it's done that's it Simple, straightforward. I uh, just want to do a demo with a different router. I'll also do a demo with this Macrotech router of mine. The Macrotech router needs a different uh, voltage. Um, so let's see. Again, I'm just looking for details around what voltage it needs. It tells you that it needs a 12 volt voltage. So essentially, I'm going to find the 12 volt cable, which is this red one over here. Similar to what we've done before pop it into the normal place boom pop the other cable into your ups dc out boom make sure that your ups itself is being charged with your own cable or your own adapter which vizier does not supply <laughs> but i mean luckily adapters are cheap so pop that right into the wall make sure your ups is plugged and it's off when the power goes off you sense you essentially just turn it back on all the power that's retained will now be charging your router that's essentially it let's wait for this guy to turn on there we go there's some power for you power it's working that's essentially it that's essentially how you need to use uh, the the dc ups to back up your router it's quite simple it's quite straightforward um that's about that next let's unbox and review this lalela power bank uh, again it's also locally manufactured similar to the uh, the ups it's quite straightforward man if you if you've owned a cell phone before you've used a power bank it's nothing new here all essentially is it's a much larger power bank obviously to to provide backup power for a device as large as a, as a laptop right you can there's your dc uh, in power DC out and you can also charge your laptop while you're at it or your apology you can charge your your cell phone with a USB device um, what it comes with in a box is the adapter Vizier Lalela is giving us an adapter <laughs> where's your adapter <laughs> so we've got your adapter to charge the, the power bank that's straightforward in there you've got your DC cable and then you've got which for me is the most clutch thing about this entire setup the multiple pinpoints for multiple different types of, of laptops this is a clutch right uh, and i'll show you why why this is important obviously multiple laptops come with different pinpoints based on the manufacturer let me show you and i'll do a demo with this uh, lenovo laptop of mine uh, what you need to do is basically have a look at your where it is that you charge your, your laptop the power input what type of adapter does it need and if, if you're not sure just check with the actual originally provided manufacturer uh, charging cable like this just check what it looks like you can see it's the original Lenovo charger if you have a look there I'm able to see what it looks like I just match it up with whatever is already in the set as you can see here's one that came uh, that came with the box pop that bare ball out boom Now we essentially want to get power from the power bank right so pop the power in boom pop the adapter in boom and pop it into your laptop simple straightforward and like any other power bank you're able to check on the side there You'll be able to check how much power this thing actually has, how much power you can still use to, to charge your laptop. Again, like any other uh, any other um, power bank, you need to make sure that your power bank is fully charged up before the power goes out. Charge your power bank, keep it fully charged during a uh, load charging season, and then you'll, you'll be sorted. You'll have some backup power during those two hours of stage two. 
and then you'll be fine, man. Let's see. That's essentially the setup. Quite straightforward, huh? Quite straightforward and simple. So there you have it, folks. Uh, some affordable backup options for your router as well as your laptop. Um, they both have some key positives. I mean, one of the things that you saw during the, the review is that they're very simple to use and straightforward. Uh, if you're still a little bit confused, you can just refer to the video again. Um, but like I said, straightforward for both of them. Another positive we can take for those for both uh, devices is that they're relatively affordable. They're not cheap. I mean, 3,000 Rand in total is still not a cheap price to pay. It's something you don't have to do. Um, but I mean, it's still relatively cheaper than your normal inverter uh, router option. Inverter and backup battery, that's a little bit, like I said, little, you're looking at paying over 20K for that. So these are good options. Uh, there is, however, one negative that I just want to highlight, guys, uh, specific to the UPS, the backup power for your router. Uh, so a couple of reviews where uh, people are mentioning that after a year or so, uh, the device starts to go funny battery doesn't last as long i can neither confirm nor deny because i've actually never actually tested and had it for for that long um, i already just tested it for the last couple of weeks that i had it and had no issues so if you've also experienced those issues please drop a, a comment below uh, let us know what your comments are regarding the, the the ups and any issues that you've experienced um, and also yeah that's that's essentially it guys thanks for for catching this episode Again, remember to like and subscribe to the video. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Like the video as much as you can. Share it on your socials. Share it with your friends. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.